Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Suzette. Today, guys, we will be preparing bacon wrapped filet mignons. I know I'm excited about this recipe. This video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below that your girl know what you want to fit, want her to fix next. Um so this is what they look like. I literally was at uh, all these yesterday and came across these. I didn't go there looking for these. These are Cattleman's Ranch Bacon Wrap Chuck Tenderloin Filets. Guys, two of these for $5.99. I suggest if you have an Aldi's in your area, please go and purchase these right now. Any restaurant you go to, these are mad expensive, especially with the bacon wrapped around them. If they cook properly, I promise you this will be a treat you will enjoy. I grabbed two packs for the family. Um, today we have having bacon wrapped uh, filet mignons. We have having seared scallops on a bed of uh, parsley potatoes and asparagus. So I'm going to open up this wrapper. We're going to get these babies out and then we'll begin the recipe. Stay tuned. So guys, once I just washed off my meat and also patted it dry, this is a simple, simple dish you guys. Um, I just have some sea salt here that I'm going to be using on each filet. And we don't have to put that much because we have the bacon. Some pepper. You hear the game in the background, guys. Definitely a football family. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm also going to be using some onion powder. I'm going to preheat my pan on medium and I put enough olive oil at the bottom of the pan just to cover because we want to sear these with a nice crust on each side so that's what we're doing now we're gonna wait for a pan to heat up i'm gonna do the other side hope you guys are having a wonderful sunday very relaxing around here game day Pepper. Onion powder. Same seasonings that we use for the opposite side, we're going to do for this side. And our garlic powder. I know y'all said, Tiff, where you been at, girl? Yeah. Just had a crazy couple of weeks three weeks ago my son had to have unexpected emergency surgery then this week my husband was in a horrible automobile accident at work it's just been crazy but i've missed you guys so much and i just had to do a video to let you guys i'm still thinking of you Want our pan to be very hot. I think we're right where we need to be. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 because these bad boys gotta go into the oven. And we're only gonna do mm, two to three minutes on each side. Y'all hear that spear? That's what you want to hear. Make sure that's wrapped around. A 
allow each filet to have its own space. You don't want to overcrowd. And it's going to cook from the bottom up. Oh my gosh, you guys, if y'all could smell, oh, it smells so good. So, honey faces, I just cooked on you. This is a golden crust you want. It smells amazing in here. My oven is still preheating to 425. I'm going to keep them in the oven for two to three minutes. And, um, stay tuned. So, it's been, a, so it's been about a minute, guys. I'm going to add in some onion slices. garlic and this is right before we put them in the oven because we don't want our garlic to burn another minute we're going to put them in the oven Just some parsley flakes to have on hand. And then we're gonna baste. I should have got a bigger spoon. I don't want to overcook the fillet, so. So then they're little and cute. <laughs> To all the Washington football team fans, congrats. As a fan, Ravens is about to come on at 425. Looking forward to that game as well. This has another minute to cook, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay, guys, so now I'm about to put it in the oven. I cut my uh, pan down to low heat because I didn't want my garlic to burn. Um, if you have some red wine, you can do like a red wine reduction as well with this. Uh, so let's put these bad boys in the oven. So guys, our fillets just came out the oven. Look how beautiful they are. I just topped it off with some garlic butter on top. I'm going to let this rest for like five minutes. Um, also, when you have your fillets in the oven, no more than two to three minutes. Um, it's up to you how you like yours. We like ours medium. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. Leave me a comment down below. Have a blessed weekend. And stay blessed and less stressed. Stay blessed and less stressed. Bye.